Oh yeah, what's up YouTube, TP here. Uh, you guys seem to be loving them tip videos, so I'm gonna keep throwing them at you guys. Today I got a league play game playing with my girlfriend and some of my buddies. Not the most competitive of games, but basically I'm gonna show you guys the simple strategy that you should have when playing Slum CTF and sort of how to maneuver around the map, manipulate the spawns to your advantage, and rack up some easy kills while pulling some flags out. So basically, I'm in this codcaster mode. I'm gonna go into this mini map sort of area, bring up the map, show you guys what sort of what's going through my mind in certain situations and how my teammates react depending on when we're pulling, when we're playing passive, etc. I end up going like 51 and like 14 or something, so I destroy pretty well, and my team is playing those support roles pretty well. Also, so basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to play each side and how to sort of react depending on what. The other team is trying to do as well so anyways on this side that we're on right now this is deemed the bad side because of the spawns kind of suck you can s the other team can sort of set up a spawn trap on you if they go to the cop car area as you see where we just spawned if one of their teammates is at that cop car right there they can pick you guys off pretty easily so basically on this bad side you you're not gonna against a good team you're not really gonna get a lot of flags on this side maybe one if you're lucky if you can take advantage and pull off some sort of blank like i'm trying to do right now as you can see, the other team spawns in that back left sort of area. So what you want to do is have your teammates push up at the garage side, but trying not to cancel this spawn on the back left. As you can see, my teammate just pushed up there, and the entire other team spawned in that back alley area at the garage. That is what you do not want to do. They're trying to control that left side of the map, so you want to make sure you're staying back and let letting the team spawn there. So you want to push up that garage side, get inside of it, and block that back alley spawn. And whoever is at the blue side of the map can get some Our easy spawn kills down. as your team's pulling the flag out yeah, garage. Have the enemy flag. As you can see, my team goes down, but they're controlling our flag pretty well. I'm alone right now, so I'm doing a good job of staying alive with the flag. Uh, basically, if your whole team dies, if you're trying to run a flag, your flag guy really needs to do a good job, waste time, and make the other team just sort of look for you as your other as your other teammates try and push up and get control and regain map, map control so you can try and run it out. Anyways, on this bad side, you want to make sure you're controlling the left side of the map, make sure you have blue control, and play pretty passive. Make sure the other team cannot get a flag out very easily. Um, it is the bad side. You want to you really have to try your best not to go four down. If you go four down, you're most likely going to get spawn trapped from the cop car area. So you, if, if that ever happens to you and your team, try and have like a smoke on, have one of your teammates pull out a smoke so you can smoke that cop car and rotate back around your flag and regain control of your side of the map. Anyways, when the map's sort of stagnant, uh, both teams are sort of we have the enemy flag. Uh, bouncing for control, I guess is the best way to say it. You really want to get flag. control of that middle circle and blue our side of the map and make sure they're not pushing past you. On this bad side, Nostals map control is way flag. more important. Our flag if you can control that middle map control and stay alive, enemy flag you really want to try and just make the other team challenge into you and as soon as you get a couple kills that's your that's your sort of uh, cue to push up and try and get garage control they're going to be primarily focusing on that side of the map so you really want your smg players to be fo focusing on that garage side or try and maybe push through grave etc you want one of your ar players primarily to be in the blue so if you do in fact push up in the garage side you can have your AR player in blue, and he can easily catch probably one, two, maybe three people off of that back left spawn, as you can see the other team is getting right now. So, when you're running a flag, uh, you basically, you want to pull it garage side, obviously, maybe into the back alley, maybe into garage. Make sure you have a teammate cutting off blue and cutting off middle. The other team's most likely going to try and push through blue, overextend to your flag, and try and contest you as you're running it. But as you can see right now, I was doing a good job of controlling the little map. I got shit on right there by RG Jet Life. But basically, I was doing a good job just trying to stay alive in the middle of the map area. But now that we do not have control, we need to play a little bit passive and make sure they can't push past our sort of choke points of the map. So we get two down right here, three down right here. That last guy blue just gets taken out. As you can see, they're spawning in that back left area. So I rotate back to blue because I know we don't have anyone there. And I know the other team is going to tr be trying rotating back to their spawn or pushing me up loop. So I catch one right there. I know another one's around the grave area. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure they don't get past us and get middle map control. Once again, on this bad side, uh, we do get lucky and get a flag. Mostly, you want to try and build some score streaks. 
try and get a flag if possible, but it's the more passive side of the map. You need to be a lot more careful that your entire team does not go down. Uh, play defense if you have to. Hold those three choke points at bricks, sort of the cop car area, middle yellow, and the blue side. They're really easy places to hold. So if they're un putting you under a lot of pressure, tell your teammates to settle down Capture the and pre-aim those spots to make sure they can't sort of push past your Secure line. Secure the that objective. Makes sense. Make your lining that middle, those those three alley points, I guess you can call it. Make sure you make make the other team push all the way inside to get you. Now we're on the good side of the map. This is the map where you need to put a lot of pressure on and hopefully set up that cop car spawn trap. But in order to do that, you need to push into blue. Uh, you really want your SMGs players getting aggressive in middle and blue blue is the primary spot that you want to try and push through if possible but sometimes you have to make something happen and push through middle or whatever as you can see i just got a four piece right there so what we're, i'm trying to tell my teammates to do is push up blue push up middle so we can try and uh, force them to spawn away from the flag as you can see three of their players spawn on their flag so our, t our teammates didn't really uh, react fast enough to push into that area, so, but now I got him spawning on my top car area even though I just got shit on. I kind of failed the spawn trap right there, but that's all right. My team did a good job of blocking those blue spawns for long enough for us to get a flag out and, you know, get get another flag on the board. We've captured the enemy so flag. as you can see, just got to regain middle map control right now. I, I know they're going to be spawning in this left area, so I'm just trying to pick up some kills for my squad, uh, try and get control of the middle map, and then we could sort of coordinate a push as soon as my whole team is there. So we're doing a good job controlling blue right now. Uh, they're just kind of trying to hold their line. We have the lead though, but we still try and get a little bit aggressive on them so they can't push up and get map control. So you want your SMG players to push up blue like we are doing right now. Me and Blondie just doing work in the blue. I tell her to push and just sort of block that spawn over there. Maybe get a flag out if possible. Uh, I'm trying to get this kill at cop car. Well, as soon as I get that, I know we have the flag out. And basically, as you can see right here, this is the main cutoff that you want to get. You don't want to overextend and challenge. You just want to make them look for you and waste enough time for your flag to get as far as possible. Although I only got like one or two kills right there, my teammate picked up the other kills at bricks, and we got the cutoff perfectly. When you get that pull out uh, on the blue side, you want to pull it blue 99% of the time unless, you, unless you're getting a weird spawn and you can try and pull it out middle for a quicker sort of escape i guess you can call it destroyed. um basically you want your guys at middle and your guys at bricks to not overextend in your spawn if you don't have the spawn trap and make sure they're not spawning on the blue side behind your flag runner uh you don't really need to get those kills you don't need to force them unless they're like running into you obviously so as you saw i was just sort of pre-aiming that sort of middle area and making them run into you you're the, you're the one running the flag, so make them run at you, easy cut off, just pre-aim and get the kills. You really, as soon as you get like one or two dead, you really need to get aggressive on this side and try and get to that middle area control, because then they're really at a disadvantage. They're have, they have to like rotate back around their spawn or push you at a sort of disadvantaged position. So we're just constantly putting pressure on this blue side. The other team is just stuck in their spawn, basically. Uh, we keep getting aggressive on their flag, making them spawn at that cop car area, and there's really not much they can do. They have to push up middle, they have to push up bricks, and we're just funneling the kills over and over again. This other team is obviously not very good. Look at them, they're not even moving right now. Just They're sort of scared, they don't know what to do. But even against a good team, you can make them sort of worry about you if, they're, if you're constantly in their face when they're spawning and making them constantly fight gunfights that they don't want to fight. Friendly RCXD and We're not, what we need to do right now is shift over to the blue side. I'm pretty sure I have a teammate doing that right now. Yeah, that's a good job by whoever's over there. I'm not quite sure who it is. I think it is. Oh, it's True Ratchet. He's doing a good job putting pressure. See, and then we have someone flanking around. I'm pretty sure that's Mellow. See right there, this is not good. Do not do this. As you can see, the other team got that front cop car spawn. That is really bad. You do not want a teammate flanking around like Mello just did. I know the enemy some flag. people don't really know how the spawns work exactly, but Friendly if they do, inbound. in fact, we get that front flag. cop car spawn, they're going to push past bricks before your teammates are ready, and it'll just disrupt the entire rhythm of sort of the flag right you're trying to pull up. So you need to be careful of that. Don't get too aggressive on the cop car area unless you have control, otherwise you're gonna spawn right in your face like that guy just spawned out on the other team. Like where they're spawning right now, that's what you don't want. You want them to spawn in the back of their spawn or on their flag, depending on what sort of position that you are in. Anyways, uh, that's sort of the basic necessities that you need to know on Slum CTF. 
hope these sort of tips were they should be sort of simple things for you guys but uh you really need to make sure your smg players are pushing the sort of enclosed areas on the map blue side and vice versa garage side on the bad side while your ar players try and pick up those easy spawn kills as they're funneling funneling out of those cop car areas or the junk area on the bad side as well anyways guys hopefully this tip video helped you guys out taught you guys how the spawns work how to manipulate them you can sort of flank around if you bring up your back screen and flank around if it's sort of like a stalemate -ish type of game but anyways hopefully these tips helped you out it's pretty basic i'll do more maybe in-depth videos on some of our game gameplay once we start scrimming again so as as you can see i went 54 and 13 hope you guys enjoyed the video as always Subscribe to the channel, leave your feedback in the comments, and I'll try and put out more of these tips for you guys. Trying to trying to help you guys improve your game. Anyway, guys, more videos tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Peace!